My name is Ethan Pitts and I drive a 2010 E92 328XI. My first car related memory was when I took a trip to Ohio with my family and me and my dad got a few minutes to go run off to the nearest exotic dealership. Uh, and we got lucky enough and there happened to be one of the six speed Gallardos in stock. They only had two and we, the guy just threw us the keys and said hop in. Of course we didn't get to drive it but me at the time I was so excited to just touch something that is usually just seen as a myth and you never really see on the streets. My favorite thing about Ithaca is how strange it is. It's called 10 square miles surrounded by reality for a reason. Ithaca is also a very creative place. A lot of people can get away with doing what they love. As far as cars go for Ithaca, there are three most commonly found in this region. It has to be an old Volvo, which it's a miracle that it's still running, a Subaru Outback, or a Toyota Prius. Those three cars are a trend for Ithaca for one main reason. A lot of, a lot of people here only care about reliability and running something into the ground as well as getting every mile out they can out of their, <laughs> their gas tank. There's really not much else that they're concerned about. The car community in Ithaca is, is rather small. You don't, you don't see a lot of people with clapped out cars flying down the street. And don't get me wrong, you see a few of them and when you see them and you see each other, it's, it's just pure excitement. You can always try to do as much as you can to drive up next to them and get a few words in, but apart from that, I mean, it's, it's, cer it's certainly in short supply. I don't believe that I'll ever buy an exclusively self-driving car. I do like Tesla's option, though, of the uh, enhancing modes where they, it will follow the lanes. That, that's appealing to me. But as far as only being self-driving, I'm not a fan. In the future, if I have the means, I would, I would totally be welcome to owning an electric car. One thing that I'd have to say I'm not a fan of within the car community is, is just negativity towards people's builds or their opinions. There's a lot of videos online that you'll see of that are just centered around people bashing other people's cars. And yes, it can be funny at the time, but of course like people put a lot of time, effort and money into this and as cliche as it sounds, like that negativity is just it, it's it's less welcome. The whole the whole idea of the car community is to have like minded people just share their passion and when it starts getting filled with negativity, just there are more problems and it's it's just unpleasant. <laughs>
The Upstate New York Car Club started in Ithaca, New York in about 2015, early 2015. And the idea behind it was to bring together people with common in, a common interest in the automotive industry, cars, um, in a, an inclusive, welcoming, and safe environment, which is something that's not too common in the car culture in some places. So um, I wanted to just bring together these like-minded people with ideas, um, their personalities, uh, their experiences and their stories to just create this environment that's kind of like a second family. Joined the Upstate uh, New York Car Club about just over a year ago, and um, it's been very positive. Um, it's given me a lot of opportunities to meet uh, other car enthusiasts in the area. Um, it's given me access to a, a network of friends that that I didn't have prior to that. Um, being new to the area, I've only been here uh, just coming up on two years, so you know, being able to connect with a car club was kind of essential to. Uh, find people that, that share the same interests.